that on planet Earth did we find here? It's a monster. <laughs> Is it? Whoa. All right, hang on. Hang on. Yeah. It's a big yellow morel. Liam out loud. Liam out loud. Why is he super awesome on Liam out loud? Be sure to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Hey guys, it's me, Liam, from Liam Out Loud, and today we are doing another morel mushroom hunt somewhere in South Central Kentucky. Here's the woods that we might be hiking. Some deep woods. I uh, found it <laughs> already. I found a morel. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. What kind is that? That is a yellow morel. It's a big one. I bet there are more around here. Getting the morel. Yeah. There? Yeah. Let's check if there's any bugs in it. It's a clean one. Let's see that. Huge compared to the ones that we've seen. Dad got the point, I guess. I use a mesh bag. The spores can fall through through the bag as we're walking, and then we can find some next time. So we found the morel around in that area, and I bet there's some more in this area. Go slow, keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. If we miss any. Oh! Another one! What? Another one! You found one? I found one! Wow. I guess <laughs> found another morel. It's kind of got some more on it. Does it have a bunch on it? Let's see that one real close. He's a little he's a little dried up. You wanna let him go to seed? You wanna crumble him up right there? On planet Earth, did we find here? It's a monster. <laughs> Is it? Whoa. All right, hang on. Hang on. Yeah. It's a big yellow morel. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. see what we got here. <laughs> Whoa, it's Get way down there. Let's see how much up there is. Yeah, get down there. Yeah. Trying to get in there. Snip. Snip. It's so huge that it took me three snips to get through it. Hold this him up there. Huge. Lay him out on your hand so we can get an idea how big that is. This is an eight year old hand. <laughs> A perfect one. Eight year old. An eight-year-old hand versus this morel. Here's your back. This is huge. This one is so far the best morel hunt I've been on. Here, I'll give you the camera back. You better look around. Oh. Hello. Again? What's going Again, on? Again, dude. Ooh. Because we found another one. This is like back to back. This is amazing. I bet there's some more. I'm not too far from here. We're going to sniff this puppy. Way down low. If you have to pull him back a little bit, do it. Sure. Yeah. This one's really good. We got a good find this time. Three morels are pretty huge. <laughs> In less than an hour. Amazing. About 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Whoa. Yeah. This is amazing. Let me have that bag. Even the slightest vibration could cause some spores 
is to fall off of morels and then you can see them next year or year after next year. Hey, we found another one. <laughs> this is just kind of a baby. Mania. We might let him grow. What do you think? I think we'll let him grow. Get a close up of it. <laughs> we'll let you grow, buddy. So, we are in this area that some deer have been scraping on this ash tree and the morels have some bark to feed off of and they come in multiple different shapes and sizes. The ones that we found are pretty huge. Don't mind me, I'm just taking a picture of this morel. This one's a good one. I think I should change my wallpaper too. All right, let's. Boy, like going around in here. Should I step around here? Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty good size one. This is Morel Madness around here. We found the biggest ones that I've ever seen. In, in person. Yeah. The sun's kind of come out so that, that way you can really see some of the, the yellows. Those and some of the big ones. So, oh, thank you, Sun, for coming out. The bag's also got some weight to it. These are the shroom sticks my dad made for me. He, he also edits and produces the videos with my help. I wonder if there's some around this debark, partially debark. So this plant right here is not a morel, but it is a fiddlehead fern. People call it a fiddlehead fern because it looks like the top of a fiddle. I hope you enjoyed my video of me picking some morels, like these big ones. Um, we might be back in a couple of weeks, weeks in this area, and we might try a few other spots that are around our, our property. We will show you how to cook them and prepare them. Now let's weigh these bad boys. So let's start with the big one. Turn on the scale. Two ounces. Whoa. Otherwise in grams, known as 58 grams. So we got that one out of the way. Now let's weigh all of them together. So first, let's start with that, the largest one. Then let's, let's add some more. Good. And that nothing. makes it 4.8 ounces. And then grams, it is 137 grams. This is a really good load. This is how we prepare them, and this is how you know if you have a morel. Please be safe when, if you're cutting. On the inside, it's hollow, so that's how you know you've got a morel. We soak the, the morels in water for about an hour to remove the spores. Then we lay a wet paper towel on top to keep them submerged. And then we let them sit. We'll see you when they're all soaked. All right, so after around an hour of soaking the mushrooms in some fresh water, we are soaking them in some salt water for a few minutes. 
as the final rinse. Sometimes with the fresh water, we like to take a tablespoon of sorghum or molasses. So we take the sorghum and we place it in the spoon. Mix it up and mix it up and mix, mix, mix. We, we make the spore for the mixture so that way we can spread around some of the trees in our woods and hoping some more morels will grow. Let's get ready to cook these things and eat them! We like to pat them dry before we cook them. Some people like to batter their morels in Kentucky kernel or flour, but we are purists. We like to use bacon grease or butter. And we've got some bacon grease and butter over there. Today, we will be using butter in this cooking tutorial. Use about two tablespoons of butter. and melt it over a medium heat on a frying pan. So melting the butter is kind of like greasing the pan. It'll add some extra flavor to the mushrooms. So that's why the thing says simmer in butter slash baking grease over there on the bread sesame chicken area. Let's add the deliciousness, the morels. <laughs> We're going to let them simmer until they get a little bit crispy on both sides. Make sure you get them all over around the bottom of the pan so that way they can be buttery and crispy. So we have moved them around a little and got them all buttery. Now let's flip these bad boys. You see it's kind of brown on the side? It's, that means that we're good to go. There we go. We flip some morels over. And now we wait more. <laughs> After around seven to eight minutes, they should start looking like this deliciousness. Now we are going to take them out of the frying pan and let them cool for a second. Let's have some experience for skills. Got one out. Two out. Stabbing good. You can't get out of the mine. You can't be out of reach. Neither can you. Now let's let them rest for a few minutes. We like some salt and pepper to taste. Salt, salt, some nice and salty. And some pepper too. Now for the best part. Eat them up! Yummy! 
I'm going to eat this. Oh yes, oh yes, this tastes awesome. It's no wonder so many people give it rave reviews. This is amazing. To me, it tastes like this tender meat that has been sauteed in some butter, which this has been sauteed in butter. And I really, really like it. To Dad, aka the producer, guess what? It tastes like some steak with butter. And to be more specific, at the Columbia Steakhouse in Lexington, to him it tastes like the Nighthawk special there. So I've never gotten to experience it, so hopefully one day we can do it after all this stuff is over. Now get out there and hunt some morels for yourself because they are awesome. Bye guys, I hope you enjoyed my video of me catching and cooking some morels. Be sure to like and subscribe. Remember, my next video is going to be super awesome. Be sure to like and subscribe and click that notification bell.